Hello humans and otherwise, I am Adicia and welcome back to Mega Man May! We are currently near the end of Mega Man X6. We're actually at the gate, gate stages right now. I went and fully upgraded X. I got, you know, not, I got maxed out the souls. That way I could get a bunch of different parts. I was trying to figure extra speed, more powerful buster, more defense, and more defense. Probably the best thing right there. And we're going to the secret lab, and like I said, we're going to use the blade armor to avoid a certain issue. Ready? Well, sub tanks are full. Weapon tank is partly full, but not really going to need that anyway, probably. Let's hope this gets done. Because I remember having a hell of a time trying to complete the stage. Let's see how well I can do now. Probably not very. I'm sick of fighting Dynamo over and over, but it's the best way to handle this. If there's one thing I do remember, I can cheat some of it with the blade armor. Like so. Obviously, that's not going to work. The shadow armor, because you can't air dash. Already lost a huge amount of health. And we've just gotten started. And the enemies already spawn. If I had a bunch of extra defense, it doesn't seem like it, does it? I already lost the majority of my health. I tried to, I went to have him go jump higher, and he didn't do it! He just dashed immediately instead of jumping again like he was supposed to. But yeah, this is why the shadow armor is so useful here. There's nothing but spikes! Spikes and totem poles! No! Don't fall! Can't do anything else, just immediately getting hit. A little bit better. Ah, uh, you drop it as soon as you get hit. You drop the attack. Of course, you're always going to get hit. And everything's going to constantly respawn. And you're going to constantly die as a result of everything constantly respawning because there's sp spikes everywhere. He's going to be climbing up. He I can't jump too high or run right into the spikes. If I go too low, I'll end up falling off, and I ended up just going right into the spikes. Just for some reason, Dr. Light decided it'd be a great idea to have X be weak to spikes. And the enemy is going to exploit that by putting spikes everywhere. Destroyed it from below. Haha.
I should I, I tried to slide down. I should have just dropped. Yeah, here I am. Endless death. Just trying to get through one stage because of endless amounts of spikes. Like, why didn't you just make everything made out of spikes? Like that uh, joke spike ball man boss. One some YouTube video I saw years ago. The floor was spikes, the ceiling was spikes, the walls were spikes. There was no platforms in it. You just go in and die immediately. It was Dr. Wily who did that. Not Sigma, or in this case, Gate. Okay, there. Or just sent a solid wall of spikes that X can't get past. Like I mentioned before in Sonic, just have a solid wall in front of him. And then he's stuck there until the timer runs out and he just dies for no reason. Because ten minutes have passed. Data-wise, I've surpassed you. There is no chance for me to lose. No, there's a chance for you to lose. It's just a low chance, let's be honest. I'm gonna lose a lot here, I'm sure. Are you still battling about that? Things like that? I'll just have to win! She is? Oh, I'm not sure how. I mean, I don't want to hurt him. Just the issue is, uh... Well, we've got shields, obviously, and it's like, what do I do about that? I don't know. Look at she does so much damage. I just happen to be equipped with this, so I'm using it. <laughs> yeah, I gotta... F I gotta hold my hand kind of like I, I would do in uh, X1, 2, and 3 in order to do that, in order to do charging and dashing and all that at the same time and properly dodge all this stuff. Otherwise, I won't be able to. That weird claw grip again. Because I, I never changed the controls. I left them at default the whole time. Built this entire series. And that's how it's going to stay, too. Really, I should just let him kill me so I get full health? And when you're trying to die and you can't do it, or you don't want to die, and that's all you do. Okay, let's try this better now. Uh, what can I hit you with, really? Well, I mean, Metal Anchor was working well enough. I don't think there's really any way to increase the amount of damage you do. It's just a long fight. You can't hit him any harder. All you can do is just do a set amount of damage every time you do hit him. I just immediately mess it up, too. It's like, okay, if he stops if he stops low, jump over him. If he stops high, he's preparing an attack. But I could possibly hit him with it. Are you just going to endlessly go low, huh? That's it. That's like the most amount of damage you can do. 
I mean, you just gotta wait for this long as hell fight. Of course, if he was smart, he would simply never do the attack that makes him lower his shield. He would never throw his shield at you. He would keep it up permanently. That way, you would never be able to damage him. I'm constantly messing it up. Wanting to shoot his shield, but you know, it's not doing me any good. Yeah, it's like if it's a long charge, then he's gonna fire his shield at you. If it's a shorter charge, he's gonna fire the big ball at you. I think I got the entire strategy down now. I mean, the pattern's simple enough. The trick is just executing the path to beating him. I didn't get high enough that time. I don't want to have to use all my healing items here because I know I've got to fight Gate after this. And I remember having a hell of a time fighting him too. I was gonna hope he decides to use his big attacks. Like this. That's really all I can do is hope he decides to throw off his shield a lot. So I can't do anything until he does. I was doing so well at the beginning, for the most part anyway. Now hey, I'm just constantly getting hit. I figure if I can have at least, like, one or two sub-tanks for Gate, I should be okay. Gate's a tricky, tricky fight. I remember that much. Like, you can only beat him by using his own attacks against him, because you can't harm him at all otherwise. No! I didn't jump high enough again. This is, of course, my own fault every time that happens. Okay, if I end up dying again because this fight's so long, I'm gonna fast forward the fight. I'm going to show the whole thing on this plate and fast forward. Simply because it's so darn long. But only if I die. Because I think you've seen the entire fight so far. I'm just going to wait until I can actually damage the bastard. As long as he keeps doing this, he's really easy. Yeah, it's like he's given up trying or something. I mean, sure, he puts up the shield, but then he just immediately launches it off and I can hit him. And I'm about to run out of that power. Well, let's use this then. No! No! Um... Oh, let us just be safe.
that even hurt him? I don't even know if that did damage. I think it did. Does it hit the ground? Watch out, even get hit. But I should be okay with two sub tags. I should be able to beat Gate that way. At least I'm going to fight Sigma right afterwards. I can replenish my stuff. Yeah, I don't even need the healing. But that's fine. At least I use a sub tank so I have a chance of getting that refilled as long as I get health items. Just any health picks up, pickups will fill it up a little bit. More spikes! Uh oh. If I hit them. Oh, there's a, bit of, there's a little bit of health. Any health will do. Or is this a change it in four where you don't need full health in order to gain health I, in order to fill your sub tank up? Now, where are we going here? Now, if I end up dying, it's not a big deal. I'll just start back in this area anyway. So the game over. The trick is now, I want to try to fill up my sub tank. At least somewhat. I did get a tiny bit of health already. And if I get to get without full health, well, you know, I'll just end up dying and I'll have full health then. I'll just start right there if I game over anyway. So taking the time to try to fill up my health is the best option by far. Oh, spikes everywhere. Oh no, not this crap. I forgot about this. More acid rain, no. Oh, I gotta get rid of you. But this is the jump right here. If you have the blade armor, or a very specific set of parts, so I've heard. Oh, you're not getting past this at all. The issue is the acid rain because you constantly take damage. The whole point is I don't want to take any. Ugh. I never really bothered to check, but I think that. Yeah, we're. Still, if you gain a health, if you pick up a health item when you have full health, it fills up your sub tank more than it would. If you did it when you don't have full health. But I never really checked that. I just know that if you, if you don't have full health, you can still get a sub tank full. health. Well, here's Gate. Any 
These things drop some more health. Not health on my health bar, but for the sub tag. Well, that's a weapon tank anyway. Well, there's a little bit. Well, let's just go on. Die the first time. Yeah, I got about two full sub tanks and a third. Hopefully that'll be enough. Most impressive, all of my Reploids have already been destroyed. I confess that I have nothing to use. Gate, surrender! Or, not now. I have one more experiment I'd like to perform. Stop! You are making a big mistake, but you know that, don't you? Who cares? I've always wanted to analyze you. Come on, X. Right there, only way to actually harm the bastard. Shooting him doesn't do you any good. He's invincible. Let me just die. So I was already doing pretty good there. It helps that I did the Buster Plus One thing, so my shots do more damage. So I can just rapid fire it and take care of it pretty quick. And the two full sub tanks and about a third of another one should just be able to tank the hits and keep going as long as I'm careful. And of course, don't fall in a hole. And hit him. The better before with less health, because his attacks you were using, I can actually hit him with them. And now he's just running around. He just relies on contact damage. And all he has to do is never use any orbs and constantly touch you, and there's literally nothing you can do. You're completely helpless against him. I think he destroys the platforms, too! I, I can't move! Ugh. I can't hit it because he was in the way. Ah. I'm getting pulled toward it. He's not even using the orbs half the time right now. So I literally can't hurt him. I'd rather just die than use my sub tanks and not win. So I use my sub tanks and not win. I'll have to refill them, which means I gotta go fight Hype Max and such again, too. But he keeps not using his orbs, so I can't actually hit him. Ready? 
But what would be the smart thing to do? If he was intelligent as he supposedly is, he would simply fly around, never use his orb. As soon as he realized he got hit by it once, he would never do it again. That's all he would do. He would simply never use an orb again and just fly around doing contact damage until X eventually lost. And there'd be nothing X to do about it. I was stuck! What the heck? It doesn't help when the orbs have all different effects and such. Like the red one slows things down, the blue one draws you toward it. I, I can't even move! I mean, that's what the red orb does, but... Like, I want to jump up and shoot the orb, but I can't! I can't even leave the wall! I was slaying down the wall, I literally couldn't move! At all, I was completely helpless! Definitely gonna beat him this time. I'll use my sub tanks now. I just hope he doesn't destroy the platforms and kill me instantly. Well, I was doing okay. Oh, there he goes. Now I just trying to outright destroy the platforms. Of course, if he never launches an orb, I still can't hurt him. I just have to not fall into the pit, and I should be okay, provided he fires some more orbs instead of just constantly trying to destroy the platforms. As long as I don't mess up and fall into a pit. Not necessarily because he destroyed a platform, but because I simply, you know, screwed up and fell into a pit. <laughs> Not this again. I literally can't move while that thing's there. And he just sits there touching me, and I can't do anything about it because I can't even move. Red one's horrible. Like, I can't shoot. I can't do anything. My controls are completely locked. Okay. 
The hardest stage in the game is done. Well, X and Zero fought before, so of course, this is going to be the result. It's pretty clear sailing from here, thankfully. Yes, there was a fault in the program. You! You kept using the orbs instead of never using the orbs. Yeah, you anticipated you might possibly lose. Anyone with any intelligence would have backup plans if possible. It's not always possible, though. Then you could be like a uh, Burt Gummer from uh, Tremors, who has a backup plan for his backup plan for his backup plan for his backup plan. <laughs> Yeah, he brought back Sigma. Sigma's back thanks to Gate. And then he proceeds to off gate. <laughs>。でも、まだ完全に復活してないみたいだ。急ごう。Yep, get you him quick before anything can happen. There's Isaac. Just broke down. Yeah, I've heard the Erasure incident is like from uh, Mega Man Extreme 1 or 2, like Game Boy games. I never actually played those, but that's what they're talking about here. If he really was possessed by Dr. Wily, he just immediately he ditched the body as soon as Gate was beaten. Yep, gotta take care of Sigma. He's the threat. And he's not that hard, thankfully. But I will be filling my subtext. So I'll see you when I'm done. Uh, I only filled one of them because I still technically have two total. So, and Sigma isn't hard, like I said. I just want to have just to be safe. Maybe I should use the shadow armor. No, nope, there's still there's still the boss rush we gotta do. Ready? Yeah, I forgot we haven't done the boss rush yet. Spikes, lots of spikes. I can fill a sub takes up via that. I was like, actually completely forgot about this. And I'm like, hey, wait, yeah, there's the boss rush, isn't there? 
Okay, you were just really easy. If I actually hit you. It's like, who cares what your weakness is? You're too easy. And if the extra defense I have anyway, I'm taking less damage than I normally would and doubling the invincibility frames, you're not going to be a problem. Even being level 4 and having a slightly larger health bar. And even with those buffs, I still had a hell of a time beating High Max and Gate. It's like the issue I have with this game, it's just really hard at the end. It's a really frustrating kind of hard, not the good kind. Like in uh, other Mega Man games. You know, not the kind of hard that frustrates you just enough to make you want to keep going until you can beat it. It's the kind that frustrates you so much that you don't want to play it at all. Die, Blaze Heat Nix. They always have a boss rush, though. I, mean, I know it's a Mega Man tradition, and they've been doing it since literally the very first Mega Man game ever. But why did they come up with it in the first place? That's just what I want to know. Who came up with the idea to refight every single boss back to back? I can't remember if I hit you with your weakness before or not. Was it this? Yep. Yeah. Certainly react to it. That's why it does a lot of damage. Pretty much a pattern lock there. It's funny how that's uh, kind, that kind of thing, the whole pattern lock thing, is referred to as Spark Mandrill Syndrome, even though Spark Mandrill isn't the first one to do that, because you can do the same kind of crap with Toad Man and Mega Man 4. I think it was 4. They had the whole pattern locking thing before Spark Mandrill existed. Oh no, it's you! I... I use this, right? It's not your weakness, but I can hit you pretty quick with it, and that's what matters.
clone instead of you. I'm out of it. Clone. Barely got him without using a sub tank. Hardest boss and all that. Out of the main eight, anyway. What ability I didn't put on a super recover because I was more worried about the bosses and super recover is useless if you're not picking up health items. And you're obviously not picking up health items during a boss fight. Oh no, it's you. Metal anchor, go! Yeah, I didn't hold down dash long enough. Why do you have to armor up Medillo? Looks like I can remove his shield. And Crystal Snail does something similar. It's like every time they have a big shield of the enemy, they just bounce all over the place. I got a couple anchors bouncing around already, so I can't actually fire another one. Health! Gimme! Now both sub tanks are full too. Nice. Now let's go down. And they never should have added this little warning thing. It's pointless. They didn't need it in earlier games. Why do they need it now? Another reason that I say the game actually went downhill, starting in this game. Well, no, it's not this game, but starting in uh, X4. That was Ice Burst. Is there anything I don't like about Mega Man X? They started? from X4. It's basically all of it. I'm out of ice burst. Well, I can always do this! Not out of it anymore!
Can't use a weapon tank again. I'm not gonna need it though. As I don't really remember needing it against Sigma. I, I don't really remember much about Sigma other than he's not all terribly hard. I definitely remember how to deal with his first form, too. Now, how did I beat you? It wasn't with that. That wasn't Magma Blade for sure. Um, that's how. Call someone decides, uh, oh, I forgot the name. I mentioned it right away last time, too, when you did that. I call someone besides Magna Centipede. So what a different boss. Oh, but the full health anyway. That'll work. Oh, I think I've never been using is and of course, I immediately miss. The whole time I haven't been using the Giga Attack, I forgot about it. And I use it and I immediately miss. your weakness? I don't care. Does it looks like I need it. Two full E tanks, little sub tanks, full life recover, all abilities are full. What I do it, I can fill my health bar three times. Nightmare souls don't matter, I, I can't grab more, and they're useless at this point anyway. There's only you can go equip more parts once you're this far into the game. Not unless I want to do what I just did again. And I do remember your weakness, Sigma. Well, your first form, anyway. Your busted up body. <laughs> this just falls to the ground. <laughs> you don't seem to be complete, Sigma. <coughs> X, get lost. I'll completely delete you. Silence. I'll destroy you. 
even with this half-completed body. Yeah, I'm not doing the, uh, trying to imitate the X4 voice now. <laughs> that was too painful. Get ready to be deleted, Sigma! Yeah, he's basically just a big old zombie here. You don't expect to be able to hit Sigma and send him flying, knock him down like this. That's what you get with this crap version of Sigma. Like you beat him, he just laughs. Like he knows he's got a second form. Could I defeat him? I don't think so. <laughs> Not yet. The battle has just begun. Die, XXX, just die, X. Now these aren't typos, this is intentional. What is he talking about? Though he is not fully conscious, he still remembers revenge. I'll put you out of your misery, Sigma. Just rest in peace. Or I should say, pieces. I mean, X does say peace, but you blow Sigma up. Make him pieces, literally. Alright, final boss. I love this theme, too! There's like a mix of the Mega Man X1 and two final boss themes. Uh, what was your... I don't remember how to hurt you. Was it this? Let's just try it. That worked. Oh, there's a little bit of health here. Hey, I'm about to die already, though. That's pretty crazy. Well, at the very least, Mango Blade is working. But I can actually hit him. I can't seem to hit him when I'm too close. I mean, when I'm not close enough, rather. Blows everything away when he does that. I got an extra life from Sigma! Pretty crazy. I'm having a lot more trouble with Sigma than I thought I would, honestly. Okay. What's up, Tank? There's a weapon energy, too. Ah, stupid platforms, I can't get up there. I get up there and hit him.
Hey, I'm having a lot more trouble than I recall having, but I don't really recall it very well, so... Maybe I've always had this kind of trouble. I'm just remembering it wrong, which is very likely. Either way, maybe I was thinking of the first form and how easy that is, and not really remembering this one. Uh, uh, it's useless! It is useless! You know it is, X! You can't defeat me so easily! You know you can't, X! I have to work for the reconstruction of the world. I have no time to waste on you. If you show up, I'll defeat you. <laughs> Don't forget you said that. That gives me the motivation to come back again someday. I will! I will! <laughs> Alright, at least this game's out of the way. That's the end of Mega Man X6. Yeah, he's damaged beyond repair. Gate's not coming back. X always be the nice guy. Even if uh, Gate can't come back, he's dead for good. I'm, I'm taking his body anyway, just, just for Alia. Yeah, you've lost Zero several times at this point, but he keeps coming back. And there it is, you're even a minion. I'm sorry for that. I know it's me you're talking about. <laughs> like even in X2, like Sigma's like, I'll just have to watch you die. Once again! <laughs> エリアに任せるよ。余計なことをしたかな。うん。ありがとう、X。できるだけのことはしてみるわ。任務完了だな、これで。いや。これから長い任務が待っているぞ。our mission is complete. We still have at least two games to go through. And the command mission takes place after X7 because Axel is involved. Like X, who's basically immune to viruses. They can damage him, but he can't be properly infected by them. Gate a real utopia, something X tries to do, but does it go so well as you find out in Mega Man Zero? The humans race. Yeah. More messed up dialogue. Oh, they changed the ending credits theme, too! I mean, the, the intro and the credits had lyrics, originally. Eh? 
it was probably licensed music, and they just didn't feel like relicensing it, so they just didn't add it or something. I don't know. I just know it's not here. That's okay with me. I don't mind. Here's some new music. But, yeah. Game's just as frustrating as I remember. Not good. Not something I really like playing. And the next one's even worse. Uh, I think the most fun part of X7 is just going to be trying to remember the Maverick names like I do in all of these, these later ones. Beyond that, I'm just going to be frustrated for the entire Let's Play. Kind of like it was in X6 here, but even more so. Ugh. I don't think they even took that long to make this game. Which is why it's so crap. Although, they didn't take that long to make Majora's Mask, and you know how good that game is. It depends on the people who made it, I guess. And of course, Inafune had nothing to do with this game. And he was pretty much running Mega Man, even though he's, he is often credited for like creating Mega Man, but he didn't. He actually got came on the Mega Man project after it had already started. He just got involved later, so. But he did pretty much end up running it. And he certainly did a lot of the artwork for it. Well, I am seeing, I think, some of the same names as X5, at least. Voice. They could have left out the voice acting. Like they did in the uh, PS2 collection. Was it on GameCube 2? Not sure which... Did they? I don't know. I own both consoles. I played the heck out of both of them. I had a lot of games on both of them. And I remember there was supposed to be, like, a bunch of stuff that was supposed to be on that collection, but then they removed it so they could put it on uh, Maverick Hunter X, the failed remake of Mega Man X1. And that made a lot of people mad, including myself. I've never played Maverick Hunter X. I've seen uh, footage of it. I don't think I've ever watched any Let's Plays of it or anything, but I have seen some gameplay of it. I'd rather just play the original Mega Man X. Even with the whole vile mode and such that's in it. Certain times you can refer to them as Crapcom as they make garbage games like this one. And the crap they pulled at the X Collection, the original. The PS2 one I was talking about. So I'll obtain zero. What do you mean zero? Is this not displaying at all, I guess? Press U 112. Clear time, four hours, three minutes, two seconds. Hunter rank, because I never really did anything with zero, but I did get up with A. X, U-H, uh, X is, uh, rank. <laughs> this game did have a cheat code for the ultimate armor, huh? I guess I just never really cared. Well, that's the end of Mega Man X6. And then we get into the real fun next time. Uh I think 8's better, hopefully. But I don't really remember it, because it's been so long and I only played it once, like I've said. But we're going to get into Mega Man X7 next, so thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. 
you enjoyed my video, please give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if for whatever reason you want to talk to me, you can find me on Discord in the link in the description.